what is going on guys blazing here welcome back to the channel hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another raid shadow legends video all right so last upload i did for a all rares team you guys seem to enjoy that and um we're gonna do the same thing again today with dragon it's gonna be all rares now uh a couple of you made a comment saying hey those stats are a little bit out of reach and i acknowledge the fact that i have maxed out great hall right i do have some area bonuses in some of these places dragon it's not a lot right uh we've got like what eight speed here eight accuracy there um two hp there four h uh, eight hp there so it has a little bit but not too much um as for the you know development of my affinities yeah that's fully maxed out so what we're gonna do for this one then is uh take off the banners from the champions right which give you some pretty significant stat stats and so that should you know make the stats a little more realistic i'm hoping um but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think am i being you know am i excessively gearing these champions because mo most of the stuff on my account is you know five six star legendary epic uh some mythicals um i try not to use the the crazy op excessive gear but let me know are these stats achievable for you if not you know i'll look to see if i can make it work a little bit better but let's get into the run let me show you guys the team all right so stage 20 right dragon now i know two things you're going to come off the bat and say look at all those blessings don't worry i took it into account i also took off the neck piece to make up for it right so we've got banners that are removed and the necklaces that are removed we're basically just working with a ring now uh and all the gear is not really fully you know ascended or leveled up so we are bringing in our apothecary right he's got a solid aura at 21 percent in all dungeons if you have him probably one of the better ones to use right gives you that extra survivability we have ordinator we have bellower coming in to take the waves out we have war maiden bringing us that big boy decreased defense and we need a way to take down the dragon so we brought in frozen banshee now, i do not currently have an ai set up for this you don't really need it right um as long as these champions are speed tuned properly they're all going to prioritize their abilities. Um, and honestly, with Bellower in here, we don't really care what he uses because we have him built with enough of um, accuracy to make sure that we're landing everything we need to, right? So we're 23 seconds in. Now, it's not going to be a speed run, but it's going to be consistent for you. And that's kind of what we care about, right? Um, if you did go ahead and make an AI, I would, you know, Make sure you prioritize his lockout first. But so far, 41 seconds. Not too bad, right? Um, Ordinator is kind of one of those champions that I... It, it's not... It's an intriguing champion to play with, right? <laughs> He's definitely a little fun. Now, do you need him? No. Uh, if you have a Reliquary Tender and, you know, you need somebody to come in and revive or cleanse, you could bring in a Spirit Host. Right? It really depends on what else you want to bring. It might just take you a little bit longer to get through the waves, right? And that's pretty much the most part is the waves. Um, but coordinator, I feel, is kind of fun. Um, playing around with him. We're going to be doing a showcase uh, soon, as soon as I can get Pogo Pink Eye on the channel. Because uh, I did promise him that I would not do it without him here. So when I do get him on the channel, uh, we will be doing a showcase on this guy. And uh, we're going to see how much fun we can have for with him. But minute 42, not, again, not a fast run, but consistent. You can get it done. And the builds, I tried to make a little more realistic this time by taking off the banner, by taking off um, the uh, neck piece. So, all right, we got a minute 59, 117 turns, stage 20 completed. Not too bad, right? So let me show you guys the builds. All right, so let's start off with our Bellower first. So Bellower is currently built in a crit damage lifesteal. Now, Bellower on my account is used for a lot of things. I mainly actually use them for farming my scrolls on Minnow uh, and does a very great job at about 45 seconds. We did, as said, take off the amulet. Um, actually, we went a little above, right? Because we do have some blessings on him. We took the amulet off, right? And we also took the banner off. So stats wise, what are we looking at? Well, we currently have him. Let me show you guys in Dragon that way. 
Uh, we have my 45k HP, 3.3k attack, 1.8k defense, 197 speed, uh, 104 crit rate, and 227 crit damage, right? Again, we're missing gear, so this is just a showcase for this, not what I would ordinarily build him with, right? Um, he is fully booked, right? Phantom Touch is the blessing we took. As for Masteries, we did go ahead and we went down, took Warmaster, Methodical, Killstreak, Wrath of the Slain, bring it down, along with Single Out, Whirlwind of Death, Keen Strike, Heart of Glory, and Precision, uh, Deadly Precision. For the support tree, we did take Spirit Haste, we did take Lore of Steel, along with Swarm Smiter, Charge Focus, and Pinpoint Accuracy. Apothecary. Apothecary is currently built with two speed sets and one immortal set, right? Now, if you check back on the last video, you're going to see the difference in stats. Pretty, not significant, but, you know, um, we currently have him with 49k HP, 2.7k defense, 273 speed, right? 100% crit rate, 105 crit damage, and we don't care about resistance or accuracy. Now, as for skills, we do have him fully booked. We did take Phantom Touch. Mastery Slice. He has a multi-hitter on the A1. So we did go with Giant Slayer. We did take Blood Shield. We did also take Methodical, along with Bring It Down. We did take Wrath of the Slaying, Life Drinker, Single Out. We did take Keen Strike, along with Deadly Precision. For the support tree, we did take Lasting Gifts. We did take Cycle of Magic, Healing Savior. We did take Exalt and Death. We did also take Lay on Hands. And we took Steadfast. Ordinator. Now, Ordinator is not a champion that you would ordinarily get the punt, uh, level out, right? But shout out to our boy Pogo Pinktai for bringing this guy to my attention. I've actually been testing him out and having a lot of fun. Um, look soon for a collab between me and him where we kind of showcase, um, you know, what he can actually do. Now, we do have him built with a triple perception set, right? Um, as for the stats, we do have him currently built with 34k HP, 4.6k attack, 1.4k defense, 206 speed. We do have him with 48 crit rate and 108 crit damage. We don't really care about those. 127 resistance, not something that's going to matter. And 319 accuracy. As for the books, we do have him fully booked, right? Phantom Touch is the blessing that we want for him as well. And masteries wise, we didn't take any. Do we need them? Not really. Would they help? Sure. Um, but it really depends on if you're going to use them anywhere else. Is he somebody that I suggest you buy masteries for or you farm masteries out for? Not really. The bombs are not going to make that much more of a difference for damage if you have masteries, right? The only thing I would say is if you really need it, you can go get Eagle Eye. But honestly, it's not worth it. For bomb champions, masteries aren't really worth it. All right, so our Frozen Banshee is currently built with a Life Seal and Speed Set. Stats-wise, what are we looking at? Well, we currently have her with 40k HP, right? 1.8k attack. Attack isn't really going to matter. Poisons don't scale off of attack, right? 2.9k defense. We want it to be a little tanky. 212 speed. We don't care about crit rate or crit damage. 157 resistance. 190 accuracy. Accuracy is a little low, but it's enough to land everything we need, right? You need to be at a minimum 250, 225 is what I suggest for stage 20. Now, as for skills, we do have her fully booked. We did take Dark Resolve, right? Um, it doesn't really matter if you take this one or Phantom Touch, kind of, because you want to build her tanky, right? She does have a double hitter, um, which could, you know, essentially land a little more damage, but her, her damage is actually going to be done mostly through poisons, so... Trying to take something that's going to make it tankier is better, right? Let's talk about Masteries. Masteries-wise, we did go down and we took War Master. We did take Methodical along with Bring It Down. We also took Life Drinker. We took Keen Strike. We did take Grim Resolve on the off chance that we're below 50% and we need to heal back up, right? That does help. Um, and we also took Deadly Precision. Now, as for the support tree, I feel like this one's probably a little more important. And depending on, you know, what other builds you put her towards, um, you may come down and you may actually want to take Eagle Eye over War Master. Really up to you, right? Um, I wouldn't suggest it if you're going to use it for Ice Golem, right? I would try to avoid War Master, 
and go down and take Eagle Eye, but that's really up to you. Um, so we did take Master Hexer, we did take Sniper along with Lord of Steel, we did take Cycle of Magic, we did also take Arcane Celerity, we did take Swarm Smiter with Charge Focus and Pinpoint Accuracy. Now we have War Maiden. War Maiden is built with a Stone Skin and Perception, right? Um, one set Perception, one piece Stone Skin. So with her, we care about one thing and one thing only, right? We want to make sure that we're fast and tanky. Mostly tanky. Now, 55k HP is what we currently have her at. 1.8k defense. Um, we have her at 220 speed, so she's first in the turn order. We also have some crit rate on the build. Is it needed? Absolutely not. I mean, it's a luxury to have. We don't care about crit rate or crit damage. 233 accuracy. Booking situation, we have her fully booked. Phantom Touch is the best blessing for her, right? Let's talk about Masteries. Masteries, we did go down and we took War Master. We did also take Methodical. We did take Heal Streak. Bring it down along with Single Out, Life Trinker, Keen Strike, along with Heart of Glory, and Deadly Precision. Um, as for the Support Tree, we did come down and we took Master Hexer. We did take Lore of Steel along with Cycle of Magic. We did take Arcane Celerity. We did also take Charge Focus, and we did take Pinpoint Accuracy. That's it, guys. Uh, stage 20, all rares. Not a bad team. Most of these champions, if you build them, uh, you're either going to have fun with them, like Ordinator, right? Or you're going to be using them some other uh, areas of the game, right? Um, Frozen Banshee coming in solid on Faction Wars. Ice Golem, right? Apothecary, same thing. Arena, Faction Wars. Hellowar coming in solid as a campaign farmer. Or, um, you know, your farmer for your... Um, not Iron Twins. I can't even remember the name. Uh, your Scrolls, your Minotaur, right? Uh, War Maiden. Bringing in that big boy decrease defense as a rare is solid. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the team. Is it accessible for you? Is it too far out of reach? Um, and are the builds that crazy? I did, again, try to bring it down a little further. Um, do I need to go further down? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other. I'll catch you guys on the next one.